We're all taught how to earn a living. We go to school and get degrees for careers that are expected to equip us with the potential to earn money. We get jobs where we earn millions of naira, but we're not taught how to manage or keep the money that we make. We're not taught budgeting, saving, or financial planning. We're not taught how to invest or attain financial freedom. Only those who study business-related courses are taught this in school. Financial knowledge is so important that it should be taught in primary school to everyone. This omission is the reason why people struggle so hard trying to make money and sometimes end up in debt. Why people with well-paying jobs end up in debt. Why people end up in debt. Why lots of people end up in debt. Money. We're not taught that there's an abundance of money or that money can be made anywhere in the world. That we only need to focus on creating value because money can be exchanged for value. Discipline. Financial discipline is a must for anyone who wants financial freedom. You must discipline your mind to see money as a means to an end and not an end in itself. Financial discipline is a choice that every adult must make if they aim to attain financial freedom. Discipline is why it's easy for one person to save money diligently every month and another person will spend their entire month's salary in two weeks. Discipline is a habit that can be learned. Robin Sharma says, new habits become old habits when you do them every day. Budgeting. A budget is a plan prepared before income is earned. It details exactly where the earnings will go. A budget will help you determine if you will have enough money to spend in a month. A budget helps you to balance your expenses with your earnings. It helps you identify gaps and surpluses so you can adjust your plans when required. If they don't balance and you spend more than you make, you will have a problem that can lead to debt. Budgets are not only useful when you have debts. If utilized properly, a budget can help you put aside a healthy emergency fund for the rainy day. Savings. Savings refer to money that is set aside from earnings to be used at a later date. Savings is a deliberate act. It should happen whenever you earn an income. And this does not apply to only salary earners. Setting money aside in a savings account or an emergency fund can be a lifesaver. And the lack of savings can rob you of the ability to make decisions that can improve your life. The reason why most people have issues with saving a portion of their income is that they believe their income is not sufficient for their needs. The truth is that no matter how much you earn, your needs will keep rising to meet your earnings. Financial literacy is needed by everyone. And today you decided to break the table. You, know, <laughs> you smashed it, you broke it. Interesting that we're discussing this. I remember that personally for me, a few years ago, it was a major struggle. Let me pretend I say it was, because you know how we speak positive these days. But I really, truly like the idea that this is something that you're talking about. Because I remember that back then, I kept on asking questions that, who will teach me how to really make money, keep money, save money, build a lifestyle that I really wanted. And I also, because that quest got me engaging a financial advisor and saying, okay, you know what, what do I do? How do I actually plan? Okay, so this is my monthly income and everything. But there was something you said about how we're not taught. And I remember that my layman's space, I remember I hated accounting as a course, like a subject in secondary school. Like I just thought to myself that it was evil. Mm. That maybe we actually might have been taught in some way, but the presentation of it was as a subject to be passed and not as a way to save our lives. I don't know. But then, I mean, it's sad that as an adult, I have to come back to that same space <laughs> that I really hated and I ran from, considering the fact that my mom was an accountant. Uh, but I must applaud you, Titi. Why would I do that? Because 
I'm an accountant and I belong to several accounting in, um, in institutions, but it didn't occur to me to actually come out and start advocating for the financial literacy. On that table, I'm not on that table. I'm an avid saver. I invest. The last time I had an emergency, I realized that I had over 15 different investments and I liquidated it and I was more than you know, buoyant. But I'm an author of children picture story books and I have two books on financial literacy for children because I personally believe that if you want to breed responsible adults. I'm sorry, but well, my calling is not <laughs> my calling is not channeled to adults. Mm. I breed younger children. Mm. Everything I know, mm. I pour it into my children. Mm. Everything I know that makes me who I am, I pour it into children around me. Mm. So to that extent, my children are savvy and they understand that saving is critical, investment is the next level to saving, they understand that you can't just be spend at the spur of the moment. Mm. So for me, I will align with you and I'll say, forget secondary school accounting. At that age, <laughs> you are distracted already. <laughs> true, true, true. True. Catch them young. Teach yes. them about money at that yeah, level. Break school. it down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I completely agree. I was just going to say that I have uh, two kids. One is six and one is three. And as little as they are, they have their piggy bank. So every time someone gives them any cash, they know that, oh, that money is going straight into their piggy bank. And so on, um, was it yesterday? I needed cash. I didn't have any cash. Mm -hmm. I went to the <laughs> mommy, mommy, mommy. We don't want to go. Make sure you can I, back can I interest? Two thousand five hundred naira for me, and she goes, "Yes, mommy, you're going to pay, but you're going to pay with some more money on it." <laughs> very important that they understand money from a very young age. True. They know that True. you don't spend as you receive. They know that you save. They know that you can even make money from having money. Mm. So it's really, really important at a very, very young age. That's true. Right? And I remember when we got married, one of the things that shocked myself and my husband, that we suddenly realized that we had to pay bills. 